also known to some people as Mike PSN08, uh, Mike Chap08 on the on the PlayStation. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, internet webby whatever gameplay thing in my jig. But it's been a rough week. And with me as one of my co-hosts, uh, how do you say your uh, ID name again? High Tech Redneck. High Tech Redneck? What, That's my what, old one. What's the other one? Or you don't want to say it? I will just leave it off for now. Tim's good. Okay, we'll go by Tim. Or oh, High Tech. We'll go by High Tech. My buddy High Tech, which I know for years since Killzone 3. Yep. So I got to switch, switch this uh, video around as soon as I figure out how to get this damn thing, app to work again. But we're going to talk about a couple of things today. I got the uh, Call of Duty uh, Legacy uh, pack, but uh, Best Buy screwed up and gave me the more expensive one. So, let me get this second screen going. It ain't going to be a long show. It's going to be a shorter show because we're just going to. Okay. Once I can switch it, good. I can turn the app off before it goes out on my phone. So, I got something that was very hard to get this Friday. And, wow, all I can say is it's a, uh, something that's been going on there. Well, you know what I'm talking about, right, Tim? Oh, yeah. And it's been selling for, like, anywhere from as much as a couple hundred dollars to as much as some people are asking for a ridiculous fifty to eighty thousand dollars for it. So we'll get to that later in a little bit. Cause I'm gonna unbox it. But mainly I gotta take the best buy thing off. Oh, it didn't come off good. I hate when they stick the stickers on these. So oh hell with it. I got this one instead. The Prestige Icon Pack. Best Buy gave that to me. I mean, I called somebody and said, hey, I uh, think you gave me the wrong one, but they let me have it. So included with this is the game, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I haven't tried it yet. I only tried the Modern Warfare Remastered. Because uh, we're a bunch of other items, like a terminal bonus map for the Infinite Warfare. I have the uh, back of here. Now, what was different about this was it came with two items. I'm like, you sure this is mine? They said, yes. Okay. So, it came with Modern Warfare stocks. Let me know when you see that, Tim. Mm-hmm. You got the little thing in here. So really heavy socks. I mean, it's a premium crew sock. Uh, where's the rest of it? I don't know. But these are very heavy socks. And it's got the uh, little badges from the Call of Duty Modern Warfare on it. Really nice, good, heavy toe and heels. It's supposed to be a uh, cushion foot bed arch support. That's good. So when you're playing the game, you can run around. And, ooh, looks like we had a little tremor going on here. <laughs> might, be, might be an earthquake. Uh oh. How about this? But then I got this. It's a little framework with all 10 badges for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So, yeah. 
Uh oh, I got I got some interruptions, so I'm gonna milk this for a minute, and I'll be right back. I got something that just happened. I gotta take care of it, so I'll be back. Don't worry, I'm not leaving. I'm just gonna milk the mic, so I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, Tim. Yep, sounds good. And then we'll get back with the other unboxing. I All promise. Right. That works. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Alrighty. So, let me put this stuff away. Got a little uh, throat drop. I have to take care of some issues in the house because we got a clogged drainage in the bathtub. So we'll take care of that later. Because they got to pour some more Drano in there. So... You know, I didn't show something on my other show. What's that? I bought something for video recording. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I recorded it. I don't think it's... No, I did show it. The lens from my phone, it goes on. It latches onto the uh, camera thing. Enlarges mm -hmm. the picture to panoramic view. Yeah. I was watching another show last night, podcast show. It was the 500th episode. 
And the usual guy that's on here, White Spy, was the last caller of the show. <laughs> yeah. That was hilarious. I was like, damn, I missed it. I fell asleep. I got to watch the whole show. Maybe I did watch it tonight on YouTube later. Yeah. So, you know, you know who Nintendo is, right? Anybody knows Nintendo. If you I don't, heard of them. You, you think you heard of them? I, think I, I don't know. I might have heard of them. Remember the NES? Oh, yeah. That was the system that made video gaming great again. It wasn't Donald Trump. He didn't make video games great again. <laughs> it was it was NES. Because when Atari died out, Nintendo moved in. And they took over. And I think they had the Nintendo and that out right between uh, 85 and I think the Atari 7800 was out at that time. And that was a 4-bit system. But the oh, NES okay. was 8-bit. Yeah, the 7800 was 4-bit. Four, four I had one of those. And I really did like the 7800. I liked it more than the other stuff. So anyway, I stood in line in a Best Buy store. And they only had six of these units. And... uh is the NES Classic Edition. Okay, first let's get one thing straight, Nintendo. When you do a launch, you don't freaking give one store six boxes or six of these and another store 17 and one other one 80. That's not how you work things. That's how you make angry people. Yeah, that's Nintendo so, logic, though. Yeah, well, maybe it's Nintendo's logic, but that's how they do terrible on launching stuff every yep. time. The 3DS they launch, the Wii was a horrible launch. You couldn't even find yep. that for months. For years, <laughs> it seemed like. And, and if you wanted done. the damn system, I mean, make enough for a whole bunch of people like Sony does in that. Yep. Make you sure got how people... much money they really left on the table. And yeah, even people, everybody that even had a pre-order didn't get one. That's even worse. When people have pre-orders and you don't have it, yeah, and you didn't even want this to be pre-ordered. You could have seen it. Why didn't you hold back? You might have just held back until about next month until you had enough for a whole bunch of people. At least have 100, 200 in the store at least. Had a bigger crowd come in. But, I mean, these people were, there were fights going on at some of these stores over it. $60. 30 built-in games for this emulator. 30 ROMs emulated on this baby. Here's the list. Look at that. Popular games that you can play again. I'm going to read off the games. I might as well. I take my glasses off because I see better without my glasses. All right. Going from 1 to 30, the games include, in alphabetical order, I may say, Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, one of my uh, other co-host's favorite game, retro game, which would be Skippy Nick. That's one of his favorite games. Uh, Castlevania. Uh, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, which is pretty good. I remember that. Pretty good to the arcade. Uh, Dr. Mario, which is a uh, Tetris with medicine pills instead. Uh, Excite Bike. Who doesn't remember that game? My God. Final Fantasy, the first Final Fantasy. If you're a role-playing fan, Galaga, that's a good uh, oldie. Ghosts and Goblins, Hardest, Frickin' Hell. 
My goodness. Uh, Gradius. Some people call it Gradius. It's pronounced Gradius. Uh, Ice Climber. Kid Icarus. Oh, I remember that torture I went through playing that damn game. I did like it. Uh, they did do a remake of it, I believe, on the Wii or, or the 3S, something like that. And people complained it was horrible. Continuing on, Kirby's Adventure, the first Kirby game. Mario Brothers, also known as Mario Cement Factory. Uh, Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, not Gaiden, Gaiden. Uh, Pac-Man, Punch-Out featuring Mr. Dream, not... Hold on, I got, I'll continue this. I got to do something. I'll be right back. I'm getting tired of distraction, but I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Can you hear me, Tim? Yep, you're just fine. Okay, my little distraction was this little girl wanted to come in. Mm-hmm. Can't forget this co-host. She's got a little problem. She got like a fatty tumor or something on her leg. And we're trying to get rid of it. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. Hopefully. Uh, continue on. Uh, I, I looked up for Punch-Out!! Featuring Mr. Dream and Mike Tyson. So, if you're looking for Mike Tyson, he's not in it. Probably yep. light. They lost light. to him a long time ago. Yep. So that's probably the reason. But that's okay. It's still a good game. Uh, Star Tropic, a really good old game. That's hard to, another hard to find RPG. Super C, a.k.a. Super Contra. I guess they wanted to put this in instead of the regular one. I would have put both in. Because I think Contra on here was better than the arcade. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. One, two, and three. You get all three of them. Tecmo Bowl. Now we got the system going. Who doesn't remember Tech Mobile? And if you find the original cartridge, you'll probably pay an arm and a leg. Yep. And then That's finishing cool. off with The Legend of Zelda, a great adventure game. I don't know if it's an RPG. I think it's more of an adventure RPG. And then Zelda 2, Advent The Adventure of Link, and guess that was a side scroller. I remember that. And guess what? It sucked. No, it didn't. I sucked at it because I freaked out through the big giant slime that came out of the side of the screen. I was like, whoa, scared the crap out of me. Now, we ready to open this up? I know people are seeing what it looks like, but hey, I might just do my unboxing. Would have done it on Friday, but got things to do. Here we go. There's anything else? No freebies? Huh? Okay, there goes the box. Sorry, Paige. It comes with Nintendo <laughs> Manual. Or is it a quick start, guys? Maybe it's a poster. Nope. Oh, it's a health and safety reason. So if you have epilepsy or or, uh, or if you got French elk disease on your legs <laughs> or something, <laughs> you, you shouldn't play with this. I'm just kidding. Wow! Here we go! The quick guide! How to hook it up! You better read it. I think it's in five different languages. No, three. You get the American, I think it's French, and Spanish. And then you got this. Here is the poster of the original NES with Rob the Robot, Zapper, 
Rob the robot was a pain in the ass. I wanted to throw him right out the door. Half the time he didn't work right. And it was only good for one or two games. Was that one gyromite and something else? And the cartridges are shown here, Duck Hunt and Gyromite. Yeah, Gyromite was Rob the Robot. All he did was put spinners down there. You could have done something else with the damn thing. Ooh. Look at this. Redeem these points for fun at my Nintendo. Ooh. Here's your print points you get. I don't know how many points you get, but might as well. It's good until 2018. Oh. Uh oh I must have went too close. Somebody's going to redeem my points. Too late. I already did. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Hey, look at what this is. Here it is. No, I'm just kidding. We'll get to the controller next. And here's your video game system. Why didn't they make them this small back then? It doesn't open. What the fuck? It's this small. It fits in the palm of your hand. The two little controllers slot for the Nintendo. And these are actually working buttons. They do work. You have the DC outlet thing. And you have the HDMI cable. And you're going to have to put this close to you if... You want to play and get a very long cable for the HDMI. I'll explain why in a minute. Here you have the, uh, the USB thing. I wonder if you can use uh, any more, like the I Apple one. Mm. I'll try and watch it blow up. I just plug it in here. Get on back to the damn thing I'm about to. It comes with a six foot, I believe it's six, no, well, maybe not even six foot, maybe it's only three foot cable. Wow. Think a little better next time. I like to unplug one of my other HDMI cable and plug it in. I'll show you why. Alright, here's your, uh, you know, I got plenty of these loads. Mini USB things. If I lose oh, yeah. it, yeah, I got plenty of them. So if this one goes to hell, yeah, I gotta see if the Elgato will use this system. If I if I can hook it up to Elgato, I'm not. And now the big disappointment for everybody. I'm sorry, and Nintendo couldn't think straight. Really, Nintendo? Here we go. Here it is, a short ass cord, three foot cable, really. So, and you gotta be real close to the TV. But look at this, it's an actual Nintendo controller. I think that's the actual size. What do you think, Tim? I think so. And it's, it's pretty close. I heard rumors you can use. It was a rumor you can use the Wii U uh, Pro Advantage controller. Uh, I'm going to find out because if that's true, I'll buy one of the generic ones off of Amazon for under 20 bucks because they got a couple of them that I look like a super a SNES controller in a way. Well, it's got the SNES buttons and everything on it. And it's like all fours and fives ratings. Wow. Three foot cable? Really, Nintendo? What were you fucking thinking? I guess they were thinking with their head out of their ass. Oh well. That's my unboxing video for that. But we got some other stuff. I mean, we might as well just do a full fledged show, right? We're not done yet. You know this. Uh, we are not done yet. You know why? Because I, so I have something else to unbox. Alright. You think I was going to let. A small ass controller goal. I read the reviews on it before, and it was real small. Well, let me start by saying, "Fuck you, just kind of with the small controller." 
Now, 30 games, a lot of people are saying that's it. I bet you Nintendo sells these like hotcakes. They're going to come out with a second edition on. They probably got one in the work already. They're just making that system and just load up 30 more games. And then launch it right after the holidays, I bet. Or to do a Super Nintendo one. Wouldn't that be awesome? And please, if you be. do one, can we have a six-foot cable controller? I mean, really? Why would you want to come up with a small-ass controller? I mean, that's not thinking with your head, that's thinking with your ass. I don't know. Well, what do you think of it so far, Tim? Well, you know, I think it'll make them a lot of money because it looks like it's pretty nice. Yeah, but uh, your launching didn't work out very well. You made a lot of people angry with you. Yeah. You know, it I might know, have but been... it's kind of seemed like it's normal for Nintendo anymore. Yeah, it's a bulky box. I didn't put it away right. Oh, well. Well, I got something to solve the, con the controller issue. I could have got a 10-foot cable, but guess what? There's a little thing on it you have to unscrew. Because you can only use one. So I didn't buy another controller. I didn't buy the cable, I mean. I bought another controller. But it's not what you think it is. I bought this. The Edge Joystick. Which is also known as... Remember the NES Advantage? Oh, yeah. And on the back. It comes with a cheap book, everyone. Look. For the 30 games on there. It's cheap book, cheat codes and everything. Yep. Shows Mega Man 2 on there. So, let, why don't we just open this damn thing up? Oh, this one's still shut better. Uh-oh. What this? I got a message. That's a cheat stick. <laughs> You're right. It is a cheat stick, Skippy. Skippy must be watching. Now, I don't have a knife. How am I going to open this up? Scissors. Very carefully. Without cutting my fingers off. Oh, fuck. Didn't work very well. I ripped the damn thing off. Oh, well. I did buy the warranty. $15 to cover both the joystick and the system. Oh, crap. It's either two or three years from uh, Best Buy. And you know what? It covers everything. The system goes out on its own. It's covered. I get a new system. The controller don't work. I get a new controller. But only one problem when it comes in. And if it doesn't work, they claim if they stop making them, I get my money back. I better. And let's open this baby up. Let's see what Skippy says no. Don't open it. Sell it. No! <laughs> Too late. It's open, Skippy. Oh. I'm not selling it. And here we are. Look at that. Look at that! How, how big is the cord? It should have got on here. I know it did. Nine foot cable. Not a three foot, nine foot. So now you're playing with ours. And I'm trying to say, but these feels like cheap uh, arcade buttons. It's like an end gate or whatever they call those. Ooh. It had the little buttons on it to turn up the turbo. I remember that. It does feel like the advantage. It really does. Wow. So you get the select start. You got slow B plus A together for certain games. So you don't have to push them both. Maybe you just push this button. You know, I don't know, Tim. Do you, you you have a Wii U, right? I do. Do you have the Pro Advantage controller? Yeah. Now, 
That's not wired, is it? No, no, it's wireless. About a 70 to, 70 to 80 hour battery, battery life, which is phenomenal. I don't know why the PS4 and... How did the dongle look? Kind of did this look like the, the dongle... This was, the dongle looked like that on the side? Yeah, let's see. I, I don't want to hear from you. I'll look at it and see. Yeah, let me... Uh, let's see here. Just pull the dongle and look at the side because I don't know if that... Is the dongle going a USB port? Because this is a cord. Uh, yes, he he does have the Pro Advantage controller. Yeah. Yeah. Skippy wanted to know if you had it. Yeah, I do. Yes, I, I never does. heard it called Pro Advantage. I always heard it's called the Pro Controller. But... Okay, it's a Pro Controller. Okay, Skippy, I got it wrong. I mean, I don't have everything. Why we're waiting for that? Here's the instruction, the user manual. And three and different I, languages. I just don't... See, I'm just looking out outside of the outside of the, the place to recharge a battery. I don't see no place to plug anything in on this. So there's no donger, dongle. No. I should check the now, other one. If you went back to the old Wii, the Wii had a Pro controller that could that could then plug into a Wii, Wii remote. But you know, that I takes know. a special plug in. I'm gonna have to look up what controllers you can use. The Edge joystick and the Edge. Oh, the same people made the that made this made the controller. This is twenty five bucks. I got it for ten bucks because of my Best Buy money. I'm about. I don't know. I got about almost fifteen hundred more points on the Best Buy. So that, that tells you how many more points I'm gonna be getting. And this, I don't know what this is. It looks like a wiener. Oh, you can unscrew this. You can unscrew that. I think I believe you can put this in. A little knob controller. You can unscrew the top. I think. Let me see. If you don't like the ball, we're doing it on the show. I mean, what the? See, you got the ball, or you got the original joystick. Mm -hmm. Now look at it. That's what it looks like. It's like a penis. I put. Oh, it fell down. I don't know. I guess that came out quick. Fucking. <laughs> it's a nice stick. I heard good reviews on it, too. So, I'm not going to complain. And we'll put it back in the little saran wrap that it came with. If we can wrap it up. It's like arcade parts. I'm going to wonder if you could buy these separately. <sighs> you know what I wish Sony would do? Make a trackball for the Atari flashback games. Come up with a little trackball thing that you can use. Well, nobody thinks of that. So, what fuck can you do with that? Eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's find out. The package lost. The Packers fall to the Titans, 47 to 25. Packers now 4 and 5. Wow, 2008 was the last time they did this shitty. Wow. Oh, well. Here's the cheap book. That uh, includes. Twenty nine games. Well, what game can't you cheat?
to get this stupid thing off the book. <laughs> oh, here's how you cheat. I don't think there's that much. I don't think there's a cheat. Oh, what the hell? Here's the problem with the cheap book. Tell me what's wrong with this, Tim. Can you read it? Listening. Give me a sec. It's not in English. <laughs> oh, here's the English version. Never mind. So, yeah, no, I couldn't read that. That's no, kinda... here's the English version. I found it. Yeah, like tip. It doesn't tell you nothing more than I already know. Or oh, how to put the codes in and come up with unlimited potion for Kid Icarus. Ghosts and Goblins. It's hard as nails. No shit. If it tells you a level to like for ghosts and goblins. No, can I get that unlimited life? Skippy, look, bubble, bubble. We already know it's on the uh, PlayStation Four Classic Arcade archives. I need to buy that though. Two hundred. PlayStation. Really, I do. The show's going longer than I thought. <laughs> so, that's your cheat guide. So, if you want to cheat, kids, go ahead. Uncle Mike ain't stopping you. And don't forget to tell your friends about the show. I don't know how to put this back in. I forgot how to put this in. Oh shit. How's this going back in? <laughs> Tim, I can't figure it out. It doesn't tell me. You come with a bag? I don't know. Came in a box and that was it. I guess it just stands up. Like I said, I'm going to try to get the Elgato to work so I can stream it on YouTube. If I can get the Elgato to work for this damn thing, that would be great. Oh. Let's try to... Put it back in the box. I don't think it goes in the box this way. I don't know how to put this back, Tim. I opened the box so damn fast I forgot how to put it back. It doesn't make sense. Oh, oh, duh. Figured out. There you go. I in no, it doesn't go on the side. It goes somewhere. I figured it out. I'm terrible at unboxing shit and putting it back together. Let's see. I didn't unboxing. So you don't have to put it back in the box. You gotta do a separate episode on that. How to put the shit back? Reboxing the unboxing episode. Yep, maybe this will work. I think it works, cities. Uncle Mike will get it right one of these days. Yeah, I was talking to a guy yesterday who tried to get one of tried to get one of those and he said like three times it was on Amazon, it was it was in 
add the he hit add the cart and when he got to the cart it was not there anymore. In the site and then Amazon just crashed on him. Well that's kind of bullshit with Amazon bullshit to pull on that. I don't know how to put this damn thing in. Let's throw it in a box. Well, how Mike, you just have to stop. You have to stop recording. Go back and rewatch your podcast at the beginning so you can see how it goes back together. I can't because the box. <laughs> I didn't show it. <laughs> how to put it? I just figured it out. It still goes in like this. It goes in this way. I think it's just start drinking now. <laughs> Maybe that's what it needs. I need to drink. Oh, by the way, I'm going to tell everybody, I was going to do yesterday a 6 or 12 hour uh, gaming event, but I'm going to do it during the weekend of the holiday. I don't know if it's going to be 12 or 24, it might be 12 hours, and then do another 12 hours during Christmas. It's for the extra life. We had extra life, uh, that showed up, us. Uh, uh, a bot, band of gamers were playing. Uh, some other people were playing. I think irrational passionate, uh, whatever they're called. They played. I'm sure people from uh, PS Nation played. Uh, people from the whole North America area played. Oh, look at that! We got earthquake again. That must be a 6.5. I mean, it's shaking. Even Paige is shaking. <laughs> oh, and your banners are not up. What? My banners ain't up? I didn't want to block the unboxing. It will put the banners back up. What's 7 p.m. Central, Skippy? What, what's that? Yeah. You got to tell me what you mean by 7 p.m. Central. I forgot to put my banners up on my show. This really sucks. Well, we can put them on because they're going to be on for another 10 minutes. We'll put them on now. We got a complaint from our other co-host, Skippy Nicks. My banners are not on. Tim, why didn't you tell me that? Well, I said I didn't think about it, but you're right. They are gone. He is right. They're gone. Podcast tonight, 7 p.m. Central. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. We can't podcast. We already did. I'm going to do the podcasting now. Why well, do a second one? Tim, are you going to be around at 8 o'clock your time? No, we can't do the drunken night unboxing. When I re unboxing this, it, it'll be terrible. All right, I'll think about it. Another episode. Drunk, the drunk night returns. Hey, maybe I should wear my Nintendo shirt with the controller. Hmm, maybe I should. Throw the box all over the place. Think about it. Yeah, I'll think about it. I might do it. I mean, it's only three hours away. Yeah, to worry about. I, I'm, Skippy, I'm, I swear to God. The classically trained one. I was going to wear the one where it shows the, the controller being, you know, put together one button at a time. I got to fix this banner right here. Right here. Look at that. Technology, I tell you. Well, look, I'm not, I'm not, I don't even have it in front of me. And I'm just, my dog is looking at me like, you're on drugs. <laughs> okay, YouTube. You stream, I barely use. In fact, I don't even use your stream anymore. But we're going to change that to the YouTube. Only. Just look at the YouTube. 
Skippy keeps sending me messages. Uncle Max video games is tough podcast. Maybe we should just oh, change it to dirt, dirt nap chaps gaming and podcast and stuff podcast. Here, I'm gonna show you what shirt I could use, Skippy. This, this is the one I think I'm gonna use. I turn on. Yep, I turn the light on, Kitty. It's getting dark out. The dark, the, the light comes out. Uh, the Can light comes. Can see comments on the screen? So where the duck come? You can't see comment. Uh uh. I could I could even send one if I wanted to. Oh, I better know why. Because nobody sends a comment. Yeah. Uh, well, I may be wrong. Let's see here. I don't know. Let's see. I'm, Should I'm, be able to. If it's going on you. Something here. I'm experimenting with something. We'll find out here in a minute. I may have figured it out. I may not have. What yeah, you know? weren't online. Yep. That's what I thought. Uh, we'll get that's this what, shirt. I'm trying to find this one on. shirt. Okay, Skippy, how about this shirt? You tell me if this shirt will be appropriate. See? What do you think, Tim? I like this shirt better. I don't think I have the Hello? Nintendo... Yeah, I do have the clack 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 clack. The, the, the... You see the controller? I think this shirt would work better if I do it again tonight. To unbox the re-unboxing. <laughs> the NES. The Jump Knight unboxing the NES Classic. Here's the title. I love it. It's a little windy out here, people. So... Two shows in one day. Show me a shirt and I'll tell you if it's appropriate. I just showed it. Yeah, that's the shirt I'm going to wear. What, what the hell did you just type, Tim? Nothing. I can send something now, but I still don't. G8. Oh, there it is. Finally go showed up. What Never did it say? Go hug yourself. You, yeah, it's just, I just, I you just tall, about gorgeous hunk of man. Times. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hug myself. Goo, it ain't even that. Googity goggity goo. Don't even sound like giggity giggity goo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my dog left the frisbee here. She wants to play with the frisbee now. Yeah, she likes to play with a frisbee. She didn't get a walk today again. Should have walked through to the barber shop. Uh, no, I had to drive about 15 miles to get there. That'd be a long That's walk. Nice I'd take stroll. half a day. I'd be pooped by the time I get there and had to go home. <laughs> Let's see what it is outside. It was warm out today. I think it got up to 60. It's Almost 60 out. It's going to be 40 tonight, 60 tomorrow. Tuesday will be colder. Wednesday is go fuck yourself. <laughs> Thursday is 60. 63 on Friday. Uh, do you know what the high temperature is going to be uh, next week, Sunday? Here. 40. So what you doing for Thanksgiving, Mike? You want somewhere 40 to come into your house? 40 fucking degrees. Snow north of us, too, they said. Friday night supposed to be 23 only. Uh, there goes my balls. Oh, uh, my fuck, there goes the nuts. <laughs> so what are you doing for Thanksgiving, Mike? You going somewhere? I, people I, come to your house? I think it's going to be people coming over here. For Thanksgiving. And are you moving out then while they, while they move in for, for a couple days? No, they're only coming here for a day. Oh, okay. Not I everybody's going to be, be here. That long. Not everybody's going to be here. Just some of the people are going to be here. They annoy the fuck out of me. Hey! Center, I'm no. any, any hey, look at this! Hold on. Look at that. 
Here it is, Tim. I put this on my uh, hard-boiled pimples I got. 100% Australian tea tree oil. That stuff like stinks. like aphrodisiac or something? I don't know. I put it on, it's getting flat. It's almost flat. Okay. I had to buy this for my dog. A generic form of Neosporum. I'm going to try to get rid of that uh, mass or whatever that is on there. Now she wants to leave. Oh, we lost the fan. Uh, fan and show left. You notice I only got one wash grow. The other one fell off. I got to put it back up later. I'll try to have it up tonight. Okay. So... I'm going to try to play some NES classics later on. I'm also going to try to play uh, some more Call of Duty. Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Holy frick. I'm liking it? I suck at it still. I don't know. Did see the computer version? I did great. I would get 15 or more kills in a match. When I went to console version, I could get two or three only. So what the fuck? Did uh, I do better with the key and mouse, keyboard and mouse? Yeah, the key, keyboard and mouse is better, I guess. I don't know. It, it seems to work better than the. Uh, I don't know. It did more buttons to push on a keyboard. You gotta remember yeah. that. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't played keyboard and mouse since I played Quake. That's been quite a while back. Yeah. Well, I would play with my buddies and friends online. We we started off with Counter Strike Source. Oh my goodness, that game was just like nonstop playing it. Then when I got to the uh, page, what are you doing? Then when we got to playing the other games, like uh, uh, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare, I would play that sometimes for eight, nine hours a day. Sometimes six hours straight. Right after work, I come home, bam, I play the game. And I was on third shift then too. So I come home in the morning and play from like say eight in the morning until two in the afternoon, then go to bed, or wow. come and then get up and play another two hours of it. I think I was that. I still have the game. I think. You know what? I'm gonna save that for uh, if I do the show tonight, I'll show it to you. I got some nice. PC games. I should show those too tonight. Yeah, I can show you some of the games I got on PC if you're on if you're on Tim. Okay, we'll see. Uh, hopefully you're on. Skippy's going to be on. We'll sure try. Like <laughs> thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We can't do that. If I did that, the internet would shut down completely, <laughs> and the interwebs would be down, and then I'll get blamed for it. We're going to be like Donald Trump. Let's make the internet great again. <laughs> Let's make Thanksgiving great again, hey? Yeah. No politic talk on my show tonight either. Oh, that's the last thing I want to hear about. Hey, don't forget, tonight is the night of the super moon. You hear about that? I got to ask what... Your moon might have been... Might be up by now. What time did the moon uh, rise in Milwaukee? I'm going to find out. Here's what I found on the web for what time does the moon rise in Milwaukee. Supermoon podcast, oh God! Oh God, Skippy! It's at ninety-nine percent full. When does it rise? Four twenty-two. It goes up. It right? No. Yeah, it rises at four twenty-two. No, it's, it's tomorrow is the full moon. The 14th is the super moon. And look, they call it 
What did it say under the moon thing? Was it 99.2%? It said waxing gibbous. That sounds like a familiar thing. Sounds like a name of a yep. band I listened to. Just, just a little bit. Yeah. That's a vague familiarity to it. Yeah. So at 422, the moon rises. That means I got to go outside and take a picture of it. And the sun sets pretty soon. No one can read the phone? I'm sorry, here. We'll put up a little closer on an angle. I don't know, it's just wax and gibbous. I'm sorry, there's a lot of shine on it. What do you want me to do? But well, this has been one freaking hour. You want me to do another show tonight? Okay, we're going to have to have uh, some of this tonight. I'll show it to you. Well, I plan on drinking before the show. What would you open it up on the show and just... Oh, I got to stop at the store. I ran out of cranberry juice. I don't have enough cranberry juice. I can't make it without it. I got this. Hey, look at that. It's Jameson Irish whiskey. It was only like 20 bucks. It was on a deal at the uh, liquor store by me. And it comes with a free bottle of Ever uh, Fever Tree Ginger Beer. Made with only the natural gingers. Okay, if you say so. Skippy says, Encore show tonight. It's impossible to read. Of course it's impossible. Hey, it's all glare from the light. The page is like, okay, I got to get out of here. And so do I. So we're going to do the show tonight, maybe. We'll think, I'll think about it. I might do it. What the hell? And Encore re-unboxing of the NES Classics with the Drunk Night. And then the show will be about eight hours long, like the last one. Yeah. I wake up Monday morning. <sighs> what the hell happened? Yep. All right. I'm closing this show out.